What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's garage and I'm in Oklahoma and I don't know some of this may look familiar to you I'm not going to show you all the cars because I don't know what's been put out completely and what hasn't but uh I'm over at Auto Auction Rebuilds and I'm looking at picking up a car <laughs> Yep, <laughs> you guessed it. There's two different vehicles. I mean, I don't know if he wants to sell this Mercedes, I mean, the uh, BMW or not, but we'll have to see what the situation is with that X5, I have no idea. But this Audi, which I know you're gonna tell me immediately, no, don't do it. They have fucking timing chain issues. I would believe that, except for this car. And I'm guessing it's either already been done or it's one of those unicorns. Usually they fail between 50 to 100,000 miles if they're going to fail. And then they do like the updated thing. Wow, they have the super big horse flies out here today. Negative. Please stay over there. Um, normally they do, um, you know, the service and they do it with the upgraded plastics, the timing chain guides, all that crap. And you don't have that issue anymore. This one does have the 4.2 liter V8. In a small car like this, this thing will run like a raped ape. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I know people are going to say you're crazy for buying it. But, I mean, what's the worst that could happen? The timing chain goes, as long as I don't grenade the motor, you know, we end up having to pull the engine out, do an engine out service, do the timing chain. And drop it back in i also know that it has vanos i know about all the failure points of this engine and the reason why i know why is because i've had the s8 i've had the a8l all it also had this engine earlier and then i had the 4.0s i've had the 3.0s i've had a lot of audi engines and uh in fact right when we were really pushing to get tk's garage started again like really pushing to do the videos and stuff again did that tear right there oh it did some plastic well to fix that um right when we got started doing tk's a garage again um i had an audi a4 s line okay not even a quattro just a front wheel drive audi it was a nice putt putt get around car oh he does have this one locked all right but the thing that i'm more excited about than anything with this car is it's a manual and i'm all about that and i am more than excited to um to play with this now i don't know what randy's got going on with the bmw diesel x5 because i am also a sucker sucker for a bmw and i'm sure he already knows that so we'll see but i'm gonna see what happens today and we'll see if we can make an offer on one or the other or maybe both maybe i'll buy this rent a trailer and pull that We'll see how it goes. I, I went ahead and I brought some cash with me today to get this done. And before somebody says something, TK, Randy can't sell to the public. No, he's not selling to the public. I have a wholesale license just like he has a wholesale license. So he can sell to another dealer. So before you go in the comments, think before you speak, please. Anyways. Oh, these horse flies are eating me up. Anyways, we're going to wait for Randy to get here, and then um, we'll see what's up. All right, guys, so just saw Randy, and we got the key to the uh, Audi S4, and uh, he'll be outside here in a minute. But you saw what was parked next to the Audi. I don't know, man. You know, I am a BMW guy. I love BMWs, and there's just something about a diesel i just i know you're gonna say i'm fucking nuts but there's just something about a fucking diesel man i just i can't i love them i love these diesel suvs Ugh. but anyways um the audi is here we're gonna take this for a ride um when i get done with that i think randy even put tires on this because those tires look almost freaking new look at that 
those tires look great you know i'll get me an oklahoma tag throw it on it throw it on my insurance and call it a day because this thing right here is is beautiful i actually like it i have to i have to get the darker tint though i can't do that light tint but yeah she's beautiful i love it absolutely love it i told him i had somebody coming so guys this is the the audi s6 and s6 look s4. at that s4 fucking i'm fired immediately this thing runs like a rape tape it's clean it's clear the fucking manual works great this thing is a beast The growl though, that's the thing I like yeah. when you get into it, it's like raw. It's got a throaty sound. It too. does. Dude, I, I just know if I delete the exhaust, this thing would be a fucking a monster. Yeah, it would. It would. I can just hear the people fuck out of this thing. <laughs> that bitch is clean! Alright guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below uh, about the Audi S4. Should I buy it or no? And I know a lot of you guys are going to be in the comments. It's going to break. It's going to do this. I get it. I understand the risks involved with this car, but it is just super fun to drive. Uh, major shout out to Randy over at Auto Auction Rebuilds uh, for having me out to uh, check out the car. Let me know what you guys think, and um, I may have got something else as well from Auto Box Rebuilds. You're going to have to wait to see that video, but um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll see you guys very soon on the next one.